Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to continue the same lesson of maths that is multiplication. So, open page number one hundred twenty-four. So, children, in the previous class, you have learned multiplication as repeated addition, and you have learned the sign of multiplication, and you learned the tables, right? And we learned the uses of multiplication facts in the day-to-day -day life, right? So today in this class we are going to start with another new topic that is multiplication of two-digit number by one-digit number with carryover system. Okay, so this carryover it is familiar to you. This word is familiar to you because you have done it in the case of addition, carryover, right? So multiplication of two-digit number by one no digit number with carryover system okay let us take one example first so multiplication of two digit numbers by one digit number with carryover system okay let us take one example here 13 into 4 yes first you have to start multiplying the numbers from the unit places so 4 3 is a how much 12 Yes, so we can't write this twelve directly here. As you know that the two digits cannot be in a single place. So what we have to do? Yes, first we have to write this right number here, and this left number will carry over to the next place, that is to the tenth place. Okay. Now come to the next number. So we have done with three. Yes. Then come to the next. Come to the one, the, which is in the tenth place. So four ones are. Four. So here one is there, right? Four ones are four plus one. Four ones are four plus one is five. So we'll write here five. So what is the answer here? Fifty-two. Now let us take another example. So children, here twelve into five. Okay. First we'll put the line here. First we have to start multiplying the number from the unit place. So five two is how much? Five two is. Ten. So can we write ten here? No. So this right number zero will be right here, and this one will carry over to the next place, that is to the ten place. Right now, five ones are five. Five ones are five plus one. How much five ones are five? Five plus one is six. Right. So sixty. What is the answer here? Sixty. Yes, understood. So this is called the multiplication of two-digit number by one-digit number with carryover system. Understood, children? Now let us take some of the examples. So open page number one hundred forty-five, exercise five point six. Find the product. Is twenty-six into three. Twenty-six into three. Okay. Now let us do it. First. Three six a how much is three six a eighteen? So we can't write eighteen directly here. First, what we have to do? Yes, the right number. This is eighteen, right? And this right number eight will write here first, and this one will carry over to the next place. Yes. Now, three two a yes six six plus one is seven. Understood, children? So three two is a six. Six plus one is seven. So what is the answer here? Seventy eight. Okay. Now come to the next one. So two eights are here. You can see thirty eight into two, right? So first two eights are how much? Sixteen. So we write here six, and this one will carry over to the next place. Next two threes are six. Six plus one is seven. So what is the answer here? Seventy-six. Let us take another example here. Fifty-six into five. So five six is how much? Thirty. So we'll write zero here, and the left number will carry over to the next place. So five five is twenty-five. Twenty-five plus three, twenty-six, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight. Yes. So what is the answer here? Two hundred and eighty. Right. Let us take another example. Twenty-three into nine. Nine three is how much? Twenty-seven. So we'll write seven here, and two will carry over to the next place. Now, nine two is how much? Eighteen. Right. Eighteen plus two is 
1920. So, 20. So, what is answer here children? 207. Understood? So, in the same way, just try to solve it by yourself, this remaining ones. Okay? Now children, open page number 146. Second one, solve the following. There are 12 pencils in a packet. How many pencils are there in 8 packets? So, number of pencils in a packet is how much? It is, yes, it is 12. Yes, number of pencils in a packet is 12. Now, you have to calculate that how many pencils are there in 8 packets. So, number of pencils, pencil packet is 8. Right? So, let us multiply it. 12 into 8. Okay. So, 8 to the how much? 16. Yes. So, we will write here 6 and 1 will carry over to the next place. So, 8 ones are 8. 8 ones are 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Yes. So, total number of pencils are 96. Understood? Okay. Next, come to the second example. A flower has 5 petals. There are 25 flowers in a vase. How many petals are there in all? So, a flower has how many petals? 5 petals. And there are 25 flowers in a vase. So, you have to calculate that how many petals are there in all. So, first number of flowers in a vase. How many flowers are there in a vase? Yes, here you can see 25 flowers. We will write here 25 Next, number of petals in a flower. How many petals are there in, in a single flower? Yes, it is 5. So, we will write here 5. So, you have to calculate the total number of petals in 25 flowers. So, what we have to do? Yes, for this is 25 into 5. Yes, 25 into 5. Now, let us multiply. 5 is a 20. 5. So, 5 will write here and 2 will carry over to the next place. So, 5 to the 10. 10 plus 2 is how much? 12. So, total number of petals are 125. 125. Understood children? So, in the same way, just try to solve this one. This remaining one sum by yourself. Okay? Now children, open page number 147. There is another concept that is multiplication of two digit numbers by two digit numbers. So till then we have done the multiplication of two digit number by one digit number. Now we are going to do the multiplication of two digit number by two digit number only. Okay. Now let us take one example. You can see. Here is also two digits and here also it is a two digit. Multiplication is also of two digits and the multiplier it is also of a two digit. Now let's do it. So we'll put a line here. Next. How we have to do it children? Yes. Always we have to start multiplying the numbers from the unit place. Whether it is in the multiplier or it is of a multiplicand. Okay. So we'll start from this two. And here also from the one. Okay. First. Two ones are two. Two ones are two. Yes, we are finished with this number. First one. Now come to the second digit, which is there in the ten place. Okay, first you have to start from the here. In the multiplicand, you have to start from the unit, but here you have to start from the ten because already we have done with the unit, right? So one ones are one. See here, you can't write here because this one it is in the which place? It is in the yes. 10 place. So, that's why you have to put a plus sign here. Understood? And you have to start writing the numbers from the 10 place. Because this number 1, it is in a 10 place. So, here we have to put the plus 1. We have to start from the 10 place. Okay, 1 1 is a 1. 1 1 is a 1. So, 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 is 1. Yes. Understood children. So, what is the answer here? 132. 132. Okay. Now, let us take some of the example to understand it in a better way. Come to the exercise part 5.7 which is there on the page number 149. Multiply 32 into 14. 32 into 14. This number I have written here. Can you see this? 
32 into 14. Okay. First, we have to start multiplying the numbers from the unit place. Right. So, we will put a line here. First, 4 to the, first we have to start from the unit. And here also from the unit. So, 4 to the 8, 4 3 the 12. Right. Next, we have finished with this first one. Now, come to the 10 place means the number which is in the 10 place so it is 1 here right so 1 to the 2 where I have to write here or here yes we have to start from the here because this number it is there in the 10 place so we have to start writing the number from the 10 place so here we have to put the plus okay so here 1 to the 2 1 3 the 3 so let us add it 8 is 8 here next 2 plus 2 is 4 1 plus 3 is 1 plus 3 is 4. So, what is the answer here? 448. Understood? Now, let us take another example. 55 into 11. So, we will put a line here first. Now, 1 5 is a 5. 1 5 is a 5. Plus, because we have done with the first number which is in the unit place. Now, we came to the number which is in the 10 place. So, we have to start writing the answer from the 10 place only. Right? So, 1 5 is a 5. But here, but here you have to start from the unit place only. Okay, you are not supposed to go to the 10 place. Here you are taking 10 place means you are not supposed to go to the 10 place here. Here in the multiplicand you have to start from the unit place only. Okay, so 1 5 is a 5, 1 5 is a 5. Now let us add it. 5 is 5, 5 plus 5 is how much? 10. So 1 will carry over to the next place. So, 1 plus 5 is 6. So, what is the answer here? 605. Understood children? Now, let us take another example. 41 into 22. 41 into 22. Now, 2 1s are 2. 2 4s are 8. Right? So, here we have done with this number. Now, come to the second number which is in the 10 place. So, here we have to put the plus mark. 2 1s are 2. 2 4 is 8. Now let's add it. 2 is 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. So 0 will come here and the 1 will carry over to the next place. And 1 plus 8 is how much? It is 9. So what is the answer here? 902. Understood children? So in the same way you just try to do it by years of this 4th, 5th and 6th one. Okay. Now children come to the page number 150. Second one, solve the following. Peter's stamp book has 30 pages. Each page has 12 stamps. Totally, how many stamps are there in his book? So, a Peter's stamp book, it has 30 pages. So, each page has how many stamps? 12 stamps. So, you have to calculate that. Totally, how many stamps are there in his book? Okay, first we will write the particulars here. Can you see this? I have written here. First one, number of pages in stamp book. How many pages are there in stamp book in total? Yes, there are 30 pages, right? So, we will write here 30, okay? Now, number of stamps in one page. How many stamps are there in each page? Each page has 12 stamps. So, we will write here 12. Now, you have to calculate the total number of stamps in his book. So, what we have to do? Yes, we have to multiply it. So, let us write here 30 into 12. Okay. So, 2 0 0 2 3 is a 6. Right. We will put plus mark here. Next, 1 0 0 1 3 is a 3. So, 0 is 0. 6 plus 0 is how much? 6. 3 is 3. So, total number of stamps, how much it is? It is 360. Yes, how many stamps are there in his book? There are 360 stamps in his book. Understood? Now, come to the second example. There are 43 students in Ramu's class. If each paid rupees 10 for charity, what is the total amount collected? So, if there are a 43 students in Ramu's class, if each student paid rupees 10 for charity, you have to calculate that the total amount collected. Okay. So, here number of students in Ramu's class. How many students are there in Ramu's class? Yes, there are 43 
students will write here 43 next amount paid by each how much amount they have paid yes each one of them paid 10 rupees so we'll write here 10 so total amount collected you have to write the total amount collected so let's do it 43 into 10 yes so can you see this yes so 0 3 how much 0 0 4 0 plus 1 3 3 1 4 4 okay so 0 is 0 0 plus 3 is 3 4 is 4 so what is the total amount here it is 430 so 430 what is the total amount collected it is 430 understood children so children in this lesson you have learned multiplication as repeated addition and the sign of multiplication and you learn the tables and how to use multiplication facts in our day to day life then you have learned multiplication of two digit numbers by one digit number with carryover system then you have learned multiplication of two digit number by two digit numbers right so hope you understood all the lesson very well children Okay.